Next, we're in the Pinellas County Justice Center in Clearwater, Florida, for the penalty phase of a murder trial. 27-year-old Marco Perilla has pled guilty to first-degree murder and is facing a possible death sentence. Four years earlier, Tarpon Springs police officer Charles Kondak was responding to a noise complaint about a car playing loud music at 2 a.m. When he arrived on scene, Officer Kondak found Perilla, a convicted felon who at the time was wanted for a probation violation, sitting alone in the car. Perilla then shot at Officer Kondak seven times with a 40 caliber gun. One of the shots hit above Kondak's bulletproof vest, seriously wounding him in the chest. As Perilla fled the scene, he backed over Kondak with his car. Perilla was arrested after crashing the car into a pole not far from the original crime scene. Kondek, a 17-year vet of the Tarpon PD and married father of six, died an hour later at a nearby hospital. In an effort to try to avoid the death penalty, Perilla pled guilty to all charges. In front of the jury that will decide his punishment, a visibly shaken Perilla took the stand to address Officer Kondek's family. I'm ashamed of what I've done. And I wish I could take it back. And I know that I will carry this burden with me forever because I'm truly sorry for what I've done to you and your family. The next day, the jury reached a verdict. The gallery is crowded with spectators, including Officer Kondek's family and supporters. Marco Perillo should be sentenced to death. The gallery erupts in applause, but it's short-lived as the judge notices an error on the jury's verdict form. The foreman has checked the option indicating a unanimous vote for the death penalty and a 10 to two vote for life in prison. It can't be both. The judge is not happy and sends them back to the jury room. Just fix the mistake. If the jury doesn't unanimously agree on a death sentence, then Perilla automatically gets life in prison. When the jury returns, it's confirmed. The verdict will be life in prison. Perilla has escaped a death sentence. After the emotional day's events, Officer Kondek's widow, Teresa, addresses the man who killed her husband, and she does not hold back. You're the reason we're here all today. You killed my husband. I wasn't supposed to say goodbye to him in a coffin. I wasn't supposed to be a widow at 43. You shoved me into this life of grief, and I will never be the same person. The least you can do is look at me. That's the least you can do. You shouldn't be alive, even if it's in prison. You don't deserve the right to talk to your family to write anybody or to have visits with your family. You took those things from us. I wanted the death penalty for you, but either way, your time in hell is coming. Perilla is currently serving his life sentence at the Walton Correctional Institution in Florida. Thanks for being a fan of CourtCam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.